Hi there, my name's Jay, I'm from MerryStem, and MerryStem resources are made by volunteers um, who are experts in their fields. Um, and we have uh, contributors who are from the university, from ANU, and also from the community, um, experienced teachers. And one of our um, experienced teachers in Canberra is Catherine, and she has shared with us a whole heap of chemistry resources for our Chemistry Mary Stem program. And we've just filmed a video to introduce um, your students to Catherine, and so thought you might like to get to meet her too. Um, so, hi Catherine. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you again. Now tell us how long have you been flipping? Um, I tried out my first uh, sort of flipped classroom back in 2012, uh, towards the end of the year. I had a year 12 class. Um, it was the first time I'd taught senior chemistry, so I was uh, only two years out as a, as a new teacher. And I had so much content to get through and I came across this idea of flipped learning and I thought I would just give it a go to see if it would help with packing so much content into what was at the time a really short period of time. <laughs> so that was how I started. Yeah, right. And um, how did you then come to it? Like, how did, how did it develop then? So I, I made that first set of videos, which when I look back on them now, they were pretty rough. <laughs> um, but what I found was that the kids took to them really well, just despite all their inadequacies, the, the, the videos, not the students. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the students found them really useful. And I was, it just gave me a lot more time in class to practice. So with that under my belt, I thought, I think I could probably do this better. So over the, the next couple of years, I started um, deciding on certain subjects curriculum to, um, to make videos for and improving my video skills as I went uh, and just built up a library of videos and once I once I had a library it just made things better and better I then had more time to improve what I was doing in the classroom and the whole thing kind of snowballs as you as you go along yeah right and that's that's a question that we get asked a lot um, by teachers who are sort of flipping curious and they say does it does it really help you make better use of class time. Yeah, absolutely, without doubt. So there is a lot of time that goes in at the beginning when you're preparing all your resources. And I think this is where Maristem is so brilliant because it kind of cuts out that for, uh, for a lot of teachers. You've, you've got this set of resources ready to go. Um, but once you have those resources, what it means is you have so much extra time and headspace to think about how you're actually working in the classroom and to make that more efficient. So, you know, redesigning the, the way that you interact with the kids, redesigning pracs, uh, redesigning worksheets, everything so that they fit better with the videos and that the kids get more out of them. Yeah, great. Okay, so you've um, shared a lot of these resources with us now. And what have you learnt over the time? Um, oh, <laughs> well, so how to make a video was, <laughs> was a big one. <laughs> um, so I, I found that... Um, you so I, I, there were a couple of things that I, I kind of picked up as I went along. One was this issue which a lot of flippers come across, which is how do you get the kids to watch the videos? And there are there are a lot of ways to approach this, but one is to be really strict with them, essentially to go cold turkey. Say I'm not going to reteach the video in the class unless it's clear that there's something wrong with the video, right? So you <laughs> and thankfully with the Maristone ones there isn't. You guys do such a good uh, job of curating and fixing the the stuff that we give you. Um, that they're, they're really good. Uh, so you, you have to say to the kids, no, it's, it's your responsibility to watch and take notes and then to ask specific questions. So you make that really clear, you hold the line and then the kids can come into line with you. Another thing is to teach the kids how to watch the video. So to show them, you know, that they can't just sit there listening to music and, and checking their phone while they're watching the video, that, that doesn't count, it's not gonna work. So you, you give them, you know, practice and, and you kind of role play that for them. And another thing is that you tailor the stuff that they're doing in class so that it's really obvious to them that having watched the video, they're better able to do the stuff in class. And for the kids who turned up to class and didn't watch the video, they're like, oh man, everyone else knows what's going on. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the peer pressure aspect of it as well. And if you implement those three things uh, and are consistent about it, then you will get most of your kids on board. There's always a couple of kids who are recalcitrant, but generally they're the same kids that if you taught in the traditional way, they wouldn't do the homework anyway. They'd kind of sit in your class and zone out and then complain that you didn't. 
<laughs> so, you know, you can't please everyone all of the time, but flipped learning, I reckon, allows you to please most people most of the time. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I hope the um, useful, useful tips as well for um, teachers starting with flipping as well. Um, if anyone has more questions to ask us or Catherine um, or other teachers we know who use Murray STEM resources, or if you want to share your own resources um, with Murray STEM, then please get in touch and happy teaching. <laughs> Excellent. See you. <laughs>